is um puppy, right? Had, yeah. Uh, for for a uh, baby. Yeah. That he, uh, he, so this he, is this is Nugget. Yeah. He's wow. like nine weeks old. Oh wow! Uh, so he's doing okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, he's eating everything. All right. So what leads you out here? Uh, nowhere to go, really. Yeah. yeah. Things are bad. Yeah. yeah. The economy's bad, man. Yeah. The economy's bad. Um, well, you take care of yourself. Get make sure you get nuggets something to eat. Get yeah. yourself something to eat too. Okay. Yep. And uh, we're praying for you. All right. Thank Amen. You, Be good. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Right. So right behind me, Camping World, completely gone. Take a look at that. The size of this building, huge, gone. And we have people, homeless people here, camping out in front of Camping World. But uh, parking lot goes all the way back there. This whole thing, it's done. It's a uh, sad reminder just how bad it is. Stay tuned today. Uh, the news continues to get worse. The closures continue to pile up. Uh, this economy is by far the worst economy I've ever seen in my life, and it's gonna get much, wor much, much worse, so stay tuned. Uh, look, we just stopped at this McDonald's. Uh, it's very hot out, and as I've said, I'm making all my coffees, but it's very hot. We did not have a coffee maker in Sid's car today, so we had a, we had a break down and get us a coffee at McDonald's. And uh, Are you Sid, live? yeah, I'm live. Well, not live, but recording. Uh, Sid, why don't you uh, show them what you got? How much? Six dollars for a, for a medium size. Of That's a small medium. Uh, I did get my regular vanilla iced coffee. I have not. I would tell all, a lot of you called me out, holding me accountable. Uh, I'm eating out much less coffee wise. Uh, I've got my own coffee maker. I'm making my own coffees, my own lattes. 50 cents a day uh, for, with Pete's coffee. I get, I buy the big box at Costco, so it saves me a fortune. But we're out here and about filming, running errands. Sid does not have a coffee maker in his car, unfortunately. So we had to stop and, and get a coffee. I got a large vanilla iced coffee. Back in the day when I'd buy these things, they were like $2.99 in tax. I paid $3 uh, and change. This thing costs $4.74 today to get a large vanilla iced coffee at McDonald's. This will be my last one for a very, very long time. It's not bad. Dude, these things used to be, when they first came out, 99 cents. Then they went to $1.99. Then I was paying $2.99. Now they're almost $5. This and is it's, unbelievable. And it goes back to, um, you know, the minimum wage. Mm -hmm. They're paying these, 20 bucks. these people 20 bucks an hour. So, obviously, you're going to see a, a price increase. And, you know, we're the ones that's going to end up for it all so yeah so i mean uh, anybody wants to call me out look i'm making all my coffees at home but again we, we don't have a portable coffee maker in the car so you know cut me some slack but uh, it is hot but again the coffee was pretty good but almost five dollars from what i was usually paying like three dollars and 29 cents for it cost me 474 today so the reality is kicking in with what what this minimum wage is doing it's going to put more uh, establishments out of business uh, people are going to lose their jobs over it. People will get less hours. And, you know, Sid is probably not going to be buying too many frappes at McDonald's at $6. I mean, guys, look at that. Look at that. The size of this little thing. I mean, it's like like literally like the size of my finger. I Getting mean, more look, expensive look than that. Starbucks. This is a medium? This is the new medium. Yeah. This is shrinkflation. It's like a small. Shrinkflation. Uh, we had to stop and get some lunch today because we're out and about. Sid didn't pack us a peanut butter and jelly uh, sandwich, so we had to stop and, and get some lunch. So we went to Tommy's, one of my favorite places when I'm uh, out in the Riverside or Orange County area. We went to Tommy's and got some cheeseburgers at Tommy's Original. And a number one back in the day was like eight something, then it went to 10. Now today, I was absolutely shocked. 15.50 for a number one. That's a double cheeseburger, fries, and a Coke. 15.50. And, so, and again, you know, it goes back to the minimum wage increase. Um, they want people paying more when you go out. They want people to suffer. It's it's hard for people right now. Right. People are losing jobs. People aren't working as much hours. People are having to get side hustles just to make it. So, so people are not going to be spending $15 for cheeseburgers at Tommy's or, you know, $6 you know, fake medium lattes or frappes 
at McDonald's, that is not a medium. That is that is I mean that is a small. That 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 is like a small, but they call it a medium now. Um, where does it end? How does it end? It's going to end bad. And, and I will say this: um, just the homeless epidemic out here. You just saw this homeless guy. And I, my heart just goes out to people like this. Look, yes, I know a lot of people do drugs. There's mental illness. There's a lot of things going on. But, you know, I look at that little dog. That little dog's name was Nugget. I own a Nugget, too. And, and I feel so blessed that, you know, my Nugget is, is sitting at home, you, you know, safe and sound and, you know, eating uh, two squares a day. Look, look at this. There's a homeless guy right over here. Stop right over traffic. there. Stop we traffic. Got, got one right here. Um... But I see that I see a little animal like that that has you know no say so in the matter, um, and you know hopefully uh, this guy will be able to take care of the animal. We're we're trying to help help him out a little bit, um, but it's just uh, it's 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 so sad, ladies and gentlemen. You know my heart goes out. I have empathy for people, uh, whether they have addictions or mental illness or whatever. My heart goes out to them. The little animals who are on the streets here. My heart goes out to those people. I mean, I mean, look look at this. I mean, this is what we're. This is all day long, all day long. There's people on every corner of the street here, begging for money, pe just out here peddling for money with little signs and buckets. It's unbelievable uh what california has turned into but uh again if you um have animals you can relate uh just to see a little that little chihuahua nugget was nine weeks old what kind of life is that dog going to have you know um uh and, and that uh gentleman what kind of life has he had and how much more life does he have living on the streets here there's a lot of crime here um Hot weather, hot weather conditions. I mean, we're at nine. What are we about ninety right now? And hundred degree weather coming in next week. And yeah, it's a mess. Uh, you look at the businesses. You look at the homeless. You look at the infrastructure. It's it's crumbling. This whole thing's a disaster. We've got to get on the freeway right here. Uh, this is a complete disaster. If you want to see what a credit crisis looks like, just take a look. So we filmed this uh, off the freeway. We were here probably a couple years ago and we filmed this place and there was problems already in the RV industry just a couple years ago. It's gotten much, much worse. You look at Elkhart, Indiana, where most of these uh, things are made, the layoffs are multiplying. It just continues to get worse. But we've driven by a couple RV lots today in Riverside County, and this one uh, was convenient to pull over uh, as we're making another stop over here. And we just want to check it out and show it to you. But Sid is correct. Uh, this is what a credit, crisis, a credit crisis looks like. Unfortunately, it's going to get much worse. Uh, let's talk about interest rates and how this uh, relates. Well, definitely it's, uh, the interest rate is affecting you know people, the consumer, to, to be able to purchase one of these, um, you know, it's, everything's doubled, tripled since the last time. So, I mean, interest rates don't come down. You're going to see a worse, worse situation than this. So we'll walk, uh, we'll walk up here a little bit and uh, show you what's going on. But there are just piles of RVs at this one lot. And everywhere we go, San Bernardino County, Riverside County, uh, there's just piles of these things. And as Sid said, uh, interest rates going up, the cost to borrow money has exploded. So you're probably paying, I don't know, two, three times more uh, in interest to borrow, to buy an RV today than you were just a, a couple years ago. And this is really affecting business. And there's nobody here kicking tires. There's nobody on these lots. And you gotta think, how long do these businesses uh, hang on before they don't because they can't move inventory. There's millions of dollars of inventory sitting here and it's just piling up. So you're going from the uh, auto auctions to the RV lots 
to all the homeless we've seen today, to all the empty buildings. I, I wish we had more time to, you know, spend to, to film more video. But with the time, limited time that we have, I, I hope that uh, you're taking notes because it just continues to get wow, worse. Look at all those. Yep. Pop outs on them. You know, those are a little bit more. Um, the singles are a little bit less, but you know, you actually do buy one of these. I mean, can't go wrong if you're able to afford one. Um, but with the interest as high as it is, you know, you're going to keep having the same more and more pileups instead of people buying them, you know. Yeah, you just have to think now how many people aren't taking vacations, aren't traveling, aren't going out to dinner as much. The lifestyle completely changing. How many people now can afford to get a loan, you know, on a $50,000, $100,000 camper? Uh, and then you have to tow it with a $100,000 truck. You've got fuel costs exploding. Insurance on these vehicles, it's endless. Registration. Registration. You know, it's endless. It's just, it's endless. And these things just go on for blocks. It's just blocks and blocks of, of RVs just sitting. You got vans, oh, the custom vans over there. Custom van right here. Oh, yeah, nice. Really nice. And we'll just walk through here. There's a whole nother lot right up here. We'll film that. But Sid, you know, the day that we spent out here, uh, what's what stands out? I mean, it's very eye-opening that uh, the economy is not what everybody makes it out to be on the news. You know, they tell you to, it's a great time to go out and buy. But uh, as you can see, the inventory piling up, um, with this interest rate, you know, the uh, people don't have the money to uh, be able to buy these. That's the bottom line. Look at, look at, I mean, this is a whole nother lot over here. And there's nobody out on these lots looking at, not, I've not seen one person. Cars in the parking lot are employees and salespeople, but I mean, they're deep. I mean, they're, they're deep. I mean, they're they're ten units deep at least. <sighs> a good, uh, you know, half mile for sure. Yeah, it's a it's a long walk, but uh, yeah, hundreds of of these fifth wheelers, campers, toy haulers, blocks and blocks, ten deep, just goes on and on and on. And if you've seen a human being on this lot in the video, please let me know. I have not seen one human being outside uh it's beautiful what are we at 83 84 degrees today uh and nobody out here kicking tires don't get us wrong these are really nice i mean if you can afford one i would i would get one yeah wow and we were here like a, i'd say a year and a half ago and it was bad then but it's way worse now the inventory is much deeper than I can remember. We'll walk down here. So you get the idea. I mean, if you bought one of these units and they had to like, say you wanted to buy this one right here in the corner and they had to move this thing, it would probably take a day just to move all the other RVs out of the way so that they could get the one that you wanted out of here. They're so deep with inventory. Does this look like a booming economy to you? You could spend hours at this place just looking at fifth wheelers, toy haulers, got a couple of RVs here. Very these are these are heavy money right here, serious money. So Sid, you uh, said something earlier today that we'd all be riding bicycles at some point. What? Yeah, that uh, you know we noticed out here that you know a lot of people are riding bikes. It's like they want everybody, you know, on bikes and homeless. You know, it's it's a very scary situation that uh, that I'm observing when I'm out here. Um, you know, people 
look like uh, they've been hit, you know, hard and uh, hard times have hit them and it's not a good situation. You know, uh, if there's one thing that these videos do is I hope it makes you think, I hope it makes you observe more when you're out in public and really look at things for what they really are. Not to believe everything you hear on TV, but to take a couple minutes out of the day and observe with your own eyes and your own mindset. Is this normal to you? Tents everywhere, homeless people everywhere. Uh, yesterday, I dropped in at a 99 cent store and they have the going out of business sale. I totally wasn't even thinking. And I'm going, man, this store is just empty. What's going on? And there it is, store closing. They will be closed next week off Monterey uh, in I-10 in Palm Desert, California. The store will be gone by next week. 371 total. 371 total. And I just think like, you know, these people who work there, they're done. They're gonna have to find something else to do. The convenience of having that store that's been there, I don't know, what, eight, eight ten years it is? Yeah. Uh, gone, uh, another empty building. What bank, what regional or small bank owns that building that's now gonna sit vacant with nobody paying on it? Uh, so it's just, uh, it's a sad state of affairs all the way around. It really, really is. But you know, even um, observing how people drive out here, people are literally, they drive like maniacs out here. Running people off the road? Yeah, I mean, Sid almost got run off the road today. Uh, just people have no courtesy. Uh, you can see how stressed out they are. They're, they're just, uh, they have short fuses. And you can just tell that- Road rage. A lot of road rage. And you can tell that, you know, people are definitely feeling the stress and unfortunately you know when people you know they act like that they start making bad decisions and you know there's there's repercussions to making bad decisions so and these sales people um you know they got families to feed and stuff and you know they got bills to pay mortgages car payments etc right you know, and if they're not selling they're not making money they're not making money. They're not able to pay their bills. It's another it's, big, big RV right out front right there. That's a bus. That's a, that's a half million dollars right there. So how long can they afford to have that thing sitting there without a buyer? You know, it's just... Uh, yeah, so it, like everything runs on credit. If there's no credit, there's no buyer. That's right. And... Yeah, most people are not coming in here paying cash exactly. for a camper. They, they, need, they need credit. And um, if you're not able to get the credit, there's not going to be no sale. So... If everything revolves around credit, what do you think will happen in a big bubble when the credit stops? Yeah. Really, what are we going to see? That's yeah, game over. Uh, but see, that just tells you or shows you just how artificial everything is that without credit, everybody's living now because of credit. People have so much credit now. They're debt slaves to their master. I saw somebody buy uh, this is a story. I, I was telling JB a while back that I saw somebody buy a cheeseburger on credit card. <laughs> what does that tell you how bad the economy is? And it's a sick economy. Uh, it's on life support. And you said that many a times. And, and I see it. The writing's on the wall. I mean, you see it when you come to these places like this. Yeah. You, you know, just a few years ago, these lots were booming. They couldn't hold the inventory because interest rates were so low and people are going out and buying these toys and supporting a lifestyle on cheap, easy credit. It is amazing what a couple years has done that reality is now here. And think about the people in the secondary market who are trying to unload these things oh, yeah, for yeah. half the price of what it would cost to buy a new one right now. Uh, and at some point, you know, people overpaid on the cars, the RVs, the boats. The payments. It's going to be hard to unload a lot of this because they overpaid. They owe more than it's worth. They can't even afford to sell this stuff now. They went out, they bought the boat. They, they bought, bought it all. The rhinos, they bought the quads. You know, they had all the toys and, uh, you know, look at the market now. Yeah, it's, uh, and now you have how many people can actually go out right now and afford to buy a car or an RV or a camper? Or, or, you know, a, a toy. Many people can no longer do this because- Or even take vacation yeah. because of inflation. They, 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 the, the interest rates on their credit cards is too high now. They can't put it on the credit card to take that vacation. So, I mean, now we are talking survival mode. People are wondering how they're gonna put gas in their car and food on the table. That's how far it has come in just a matter of a couple of years.
So if this keeps that guy is driving like road rage. <laughs> if things keep going like this, where will we be two years from now if we keep slipping downhill this fast? How far now could we be two years, 24 months, 18 months from now? Uh, nobody really knows. But if things don't get better soon, they're going to get a lot worse.